Hello and welcome to New Body. I'm Latrice Viet. I'm going to be doing a general reading today. Uh, before we get started, I'd just like to say that uh, all general readings are for entertainment purposes. And while I am a holistic health practitioner, uh, I do not give out medical advice. Um, anything said here is uh, energy based and you are advised to seek uh, professional medical attention, any legal advice, you just seek your attorney. And so, yeah, let's get started. Thank you for uh, joining me today. If you're a new uh, viewer, thank you. Welcome. And if you are from my TikTok uh, family, which was uh, stolen, welcome back. All right, so let's get started. Let's get some, let's get some general messages first. All right, let's see what we have today. See what the census is. I don't know the name of this deck. I try to give, uh, let people know what decks I am using. This one I actually got from Amazon, cute little deck. It's not really good with um, shuffling. First card out is luck, and it's in the reverse. All right, so someone's not having good luck. All right, this is how we're starting off the reading. I see compromise and in the reverse. Uh, and I see uh, readiness is also in the reverse. Uh, so someone who went out of luck was not ready for whatever they're going through. It seems to be the going uh, theme. Hope everyone's having a good day today. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Okay, we have memory and triumph and hesitation. Okay, so someone's remembering something. Um, and we have homelessness. And the mask is off. All right. So someone triumph over something that they're remembering. Um, while it's putting them in a calm space, it's also uh, putting them in homelessness. They are in, uh, and homelessness could be, uh, legally that just means you don't have your own place to stay. So homelessness means you could be uh, couch hunting or couch hopping. Um, staying with friends and family just means that uh, doesn't, necessarily have to mean that you're sleeping under a bridge or in your car but if that's your uh, current state uh, hope it gets well for you yeah uh, homelessness came came out again and same cards and, and mask so someone's mask has fallen off for them all right Let's see what else we have. So, like I said, someone ran out of luck. They weren't ready for uh, whatever they're going through. They weren't ready for this homelessness that they are either uh, currently in or will be in. Okay, so let's see what else. This is the Wisdom Oracle deck, one of my faves. I use all the times by Colette Baron Reed. Uh, she has a cool website as well. Lots of decks. I think I own almost all of her decks except for uh, two or three. Two. So we have No Place Like Home. And that's card number 50. We have Peace in the Reverse. And that's card 23. 23. Someone could be 50 years old. Someone could be born in 1950. 
Someone could be 23 years old or 32 years old. Um, two and three, reduce, uh, 23 reduces down to five. Uh, five means change. So again, no place like home. Um, someone's feeling like they, they are not at home and they don't have peace. Okay. So again, we have the, the homelessness card. Uh, so someone's wishing that they were at home in their own home. Okay, but perhaps there's some uh, changes coming about. You have new life and blessed. Okay, so there's some might be some blessings coming from this for this person who is homeless uh, in a new life. 22, someone could be 22 years old, born in 1922, or uh, something happened on February 2nd. Uh, 22 reduces down to four. Four is about uh, stability and foundation. So again, um, making changes here, okay? So right now, someone might not be going uh, through a peaceful time. Let's get one more because I'm running out of room on this board. Let's See what else is going on. You have time for a nap, which is 24, and you have yin and reverse, which is two. Two is uh, about partnerships and couples. Um, 24 reduces down to six. Uh, six is about family. Okay, so something in the family might need to rest. Uh, maybe a situation is going on in the family needing to rest so again when we're talking about uh no place like home you know someone who is very feeling very left out feeling um like whatever is going on in their life uh they ran out of luck i thought this was going to be a um a love reading because i surely did bring my love cards so let's see what uh these cards have to say okay and this is the m2 uh zodiac oracle and uh, i got this from ebay i'm sorry etsy i actually have two decks by this uh these these ladies let's use up a little bit so i want to be able to see what the words are so that we can uh, reference them again. Oh, my incense burns out quick. So if someone's feeling some burnout, they're, they're uh, feeling it right now, going through all this, which is probably the time for a nap. Uh, this is Spirit's card of uh, relaxing and uh, going into hermit mode. These cards are not coming together like they usually do. So um, that could be symbolic for uh, things not coming together like they were before, which also um, correlates to the energy from the luck card being in reverse, where things were lucky before, they are not lucky now. All right, can I get a few cards from this deck? We have castle and we have broken vase. Now this deck, um, along with most of these decks, don't have um, reversal uh, definitions. So unless I am being called to do a reversal, um, I will not. Um, castle is number six. Number six, again, is about um, harmony. It's about uh, nostalgia. It's also about family. Castle says pride, recognition, position, praise for advancement and achievements, ego, wealth, ancestry, antiquity, history, legacy, architect, power, prestige, and isolation. Broken vase, which was in the reverse, is in number five. Okay, it says uh, hardship, misfortune, trial, overcome, crisis, two steps back, change of state. So fives are usually about um, change. Uh, it could be about challenges. It could also be about conflicts. Um, 
there's adversity and there are disappointments and setbacks. But this um, council also talks about pride and recognition. So um, this is five and this is six. So um, five, six is going up. So maybe there was some misfortune in the past and now uh, someone's getting uh, praise and recognition in the future. Okay. Okay, so you have slingshot and you have master. Slingshot and master. Slingshot is number five. Um, change, conflict, chaos, challenges. Um, slingshot, slingshot says tension, strain, sudden anxiety, pressure, uh, stress, set in motion, focus. Change. What did I say? Change. So master is number nine. Nine is about um, cycles ending. Okay. Says so discipline, working smart, focus, structure, teaching, training, conquer, overcoming, learning a new skill, in the flow, authoritarian. Okay. So with slingshot in a set in motion, um, someone could be learning a new skill. Someone could have uh, anxiety about learning a new skill and overcoming uh, something. Uh, uh, yeah, someone's focusing and working smarter and not harder. All right, so one more with this deck. Let's get one more read. Then I'll probably do some um, spill the tea with that's my own deck that I made. I haven't even used that in a reading uh, that I filmed, so that will be interesting. Okay, so you have Wheel of Karma, number eight, and you have Family, number four. So number eight is about attainment. Uh, it's about uh, wealth, prosperity, and says Wheel of Karma. Karma, Dharma. Destined, inevitable, cause and effect, divine intervention, cycles, luck, fortune, rise and fall, circumstances. So it's, it's like ebb and flow. It's like cause and effect. Okay. So uh, family is number four. And it, it's about structure. It's about uh, loyalty, faithfulness, allegiance, parents, children, siblings, uh, fidelity, commitment, trust, and affection, support systems. Okay. I think there's um, something going on with someone's family, uh, something that was destined to happen, um, given the uh, no place like home and the um, homelessness uh, card. I, I would say that a family is, is uh, breaking apart and uh, a new family is coming together. It's got kindred spirits in here and then having new life here. Um, yeah, so you could be uh, moving on to a new home, coming out of uh, being homeless. Okay. Coming out of homelessness. All right, so let's try my new deck here and see what's going on. This is a interesting deck. It's called uh, What's the Word? Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have Love Triangle, Third Party Situation. Okay, all ready. Something going on. So the card that just fell out was uh, something going on in the fall. And we have air signs. Oh, we have what? We have frenemies. We have red flag. Frenemies. Air signs. Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. What fell on the floor was abusive. 
okay emotionally mentally physically and we have fall so something coming out in the fall so that could be uh check out your friend your friend list your friend uh circle about four uh red signs that that could something could be happening in the fall with your friends who could be Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Okay, so someone is a toxic person, a hater. Yeah, you need to check the friends list, your friend circle. Someone's in their uh, ego, in their fields. also have earth signs uh, Taurus Capricorn and Virgo I believe yeah Taurus Capricorn and Virgo so somebody got some enemy some frenemies out there frenemies are uh, fake friends people who uh, smile in your face but uh, you know talk about you behind your back betray you so we have spellbound. So it says check the spell work, spell deck. Oh snap! That means somebody's out here doing spell work. And my spell work deck is way over there. And it says decision. Something needs to be decided. So perhaps somebody's friends are out here doing spell work on them. Oh, 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 a lot of drama. There's a lot of drama going on. Okay, there's a creeper out here. Somebody out here creeping. Uh, third party stalker. Somebody out here stalking. Could be one of your friends out here stalking you. Or someone you thought was your friend. Out here stalking you online. Out there in the bushes. At the grocery store, in the aisles, when you didn't even know they were in the aisles. Got their friends stocking for you. Well, stocking for them. Stocking you. Lots going on. Oh, snap. This says someone's on the down low. So this is, uh, this one is on males. So this is a male who secretly sleeps with other males. All right. So that could be one of your friends who you didn't know was on the low and there's nothing and i won't say there's nothing wrong with being on the down low because it is being on the down low means you're not telling people you sleep with uh whether it's it, it's the same sex opposite sex what you're doing that's what down low means it's not anything against uh same sex relationships it means you're not disclosing who you're sleeping with and sleeping with so if you're a male sleeping with male then you're not disclosing with the women that you're sleeping with women or anyone you're not disclosing it at, at all and and that's a problem because you could be potentially putting uh, others health at risk that's the problem all right so what is this this one says confessions it's very light so you may not be able to see that but confession says someone Someone wants to tell you their secrets. All right, I should, what, what, what I should say? Something about confessions. So it could be that one of your friends wants to come out and tell you that they, they are on the down low or when they were involved with you, they were on the down low. Oh, what's this down here? So we got entrapment. We have immature. We got legal issues. And we got user. Okay, so user. So someone who's a user is only out for themselves and can uh, they do anything to get money. All right. And that can also be on uh, someone on the down low who sleeps, a male who sleeps with other men for money. Then we have entrapment, getting caught up in an unplanned pregnancy or legal issues, okay? So if someone is doing something for money and they got caught uh, 
with those shenanigans they perhaps are having legal issues um and we have immature you know someone's out here uh needs to grow up has childish behavior so you have some adults out here um acting real immature and then you have legal issues okay so court case arrest child support lawsuit so what we, we had entrapment here um and we had yeah so the legal issues all right so someone lucy someone got some explaining to do something going on someone needs to tell something you know and it, it it's not always easy for someone to come out about their sexuality, especially to um, family, depending on your culture, and oh, it could be depending on your race, but um, to sleep with other people and not disclose that uh, you like both sex, uh, that that's taken away someone else's um, free will to say, okay, well, I don't want to sleep with you because you sleep with people of the same sex, and that's not right. So we have, boom, someone's having a tower moment. Tower in, in tarot means um, the destruction of something. So tower moment, uh, something's about to fall apart. Something is, is going to come down and it could be as a result of this confession. It could be as a result of these uh, legal issues. And, um, you know, these, the, there's some red flags that you probably ignored, um, you know, somewhere along the lines in the, in the relationship. And uh, whether your frenemies was fake or not, there's some signs and um, letting you know. And this could all possibly go down in the fall, September, November, October, September, October, November. All right. So let's get a closing message and we'll close out on this one and I will do a love reading on the next one. You can join me on the next one with the love reading and I'll also get out my um, spell work deck. All right, so what's the closing messages? Let me come back here. Clear the energy. So we have yoga and bedroom. So yoga is number four. Again, that's about foundations. So it's contemplating, deep breath, centered, go within. Steady, be relaxed. It says bedroom. Okay, bedroom's number six. It's about harmony. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Sexual fulfillment, intimacy, pleasure, sensual, love affair, contentment, leisure. What I'm getting from this is, is someone needs to take a break. Take a break from uh, sexual fulfillment and love affairs. That is exactly what I'm getting with this these two cards. So um, I'm going to close out with and end out with that. I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, I like to do short, quick readings and then uh, it uploads quicker and easier. But uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe to my channel. Help me build this channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.